welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe before you go don't forget to turn on post notification that is very important that will notify you whenever i drop a new content on this channel also don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share okay so my name is teresa i'm a content creator based right here in the choir state nigeria even though for now i shot between lagos and in Lauren for now so mostly the kind of content you find on my channel are from Lauren and Lagos so whenever you see any of my videos please make sure you click on there okay so in this video I'll be sharing with us top five places you can visit as a tourist in Lauren I mean tourist attractions that you can visit whenever you find yourself in Lauren although we have a lot of places, like a lot of tourist attractions in Nigeria. And of course, Ilorin Kwara State is one of those places that have beautiful and historical attractions that you can visit, that you can learn. You know, we learn every day. You understand if you know what I mean. Although this place can be compared to Lagos in terms of um, nightlife and in terms of people getting busy. So this place is just somewhere that you can come and cool your temper. This place is not somewhere that you will sit in the dog for five hours. I'm not in any way trying to insult my Lagosians, but that I'm just trying to state the differences between the two cities. So Ilori is not congested like Lagos. So I think what makes Ilori congested at times is when um first during festive period, most especially during Sala, and when students are around. But well, thanks to Nigeria government, we are on also strike now. So right now, University of Learning students, they are not in Lauren. So the only students you are likely to find right now in Lauren are just Kwara State Polytechnic students. But that is not the reason behind this video. What we want to talk about in this video are tourist attractions that you can visit whenever you find yourself in Lauren. So let's dive right into so it. So the first one we have here is the Sobi Hills. So it is believed that whenever you find yourself at the top of this hill, you are likely to see the whole of Lauren, like the view, you are likely to get the view of the whole of Lauren. So I've been there before, just in case you want to see a video of how it looks like, I'll link it up and also my description box. And of course you can check out my channels. I've been to a couple of places in Lauren. So this place is uh, like one of the most sought after tourist attractions. Whenever anybody visits Lauren, you hear them say, okay, I want to visit Sobi, I want to see how it looks like. So also, it's also, uh, it also serves as a place of praying for different religion because when you get there, you see different religion praying and you, you know what I mean. Like I said, it's a hill, so it's a rock and it's so steep. But while going up, there's this uh, mark that has been done there with a paint that will just like guide you up there. But in case you want to visit Lauren, in case you want to tour in Lori, just let me know. You can hit me up um, on my Instagram. The link to my Instagram will be in my description box. And also, you can send me a mail. My email will also be in the description box. So I can link you up with somebody that his charges is very affordable just in case you want to tour in Lori and you are not familiar so that you won't get lost. So I can just link you up with somebody that will just, you know, that will be in charge, that will take you around in Lori. That's his work and he's good at it. Another place I have here is Asa Jam. God, I can't count the number of times I've been to this place. Don't blame me. Asa Jam is very close to where I stay, right here in Lauren. So, like I said, I can't count the number of times I've been to Asa Jam. So, Asa Jam videos is like three on my channel. So, in case you want to see how Asa Jam looks like, even during the dry season, I've been there during the dry season when the water was not really coming out. I've been there during the rainy season where fishermen were even catching fish. For you to know that I've been to this place a couple of times, like I can't even count the number of times I've been to Asadam. Actually, Asadam was built to increase the supply of portable drinking water for the people of Ilori and some nearby towns. Uh, if you want to learn more, whenever you're in Ilori, whenever you're there, there are some workers that they will tell you more about even how the dam was constructed. So in case Lauren is not on your bucket list of places to visit, make sure you just had it. Okay? Yes, Teresa said so. I'm very sure when you get here, we won't disappoint you because you will really enjoy your stay. Okay. okay the number three I have here is University of Lauren Zoo. 
Also, I've been to this place. I have a video in case you want to check it out. But my own honest review is that, uh, to be honest, um, the zoo is not what I was expecting. Some of the animals, they are not, they are not active. Let me just put it like that. And not all animals are even there. The ones that are there, they are not active. So, but there's this canopy walkway that is also there. And trust me, when you climb it, although it's kind of stressful, but you still enjoy it. So, also, you can add University of Lorraine Zoo to your pocket list whenever you are in a Lorraine Choir State and Nigeria. So, next to have here is Kana Poetry, and it's located around that area at Okelele in Lorraine. Also, I've been to Dada Poetry twice. Let me say three times. For the first time, I was unable to film because those people there, it's the way they behave. Whenever they see you with a phone or a camera, they tend to charge you. So that's why I said, even if you want to come to Lauren, if you want to come, if you want to tour Lauren, just let me know. There's a way I'll link up somebody because going there as a total stranger, they might bill you. Sure you get, they might bill you. But I have someone that's already familiar with them. You understand? That's it. So the next one I have here is Sukkot Valley Garden. So most people love visiting this place because of the water view front. So if you are somebody that loves water, that loves the breezy, cool hair, that comes with sitting around water side then so called valley garden is for you so guys these are my they are not my top five but these are like the five places i'll be mentioning in this video and like i said most of these places have been there even some places that i did not mention in this video have been there so just take a stroll through my videos for you to see for yourself and i'm very sure you see one place that you will catch your fantasy that you want to come to Ilori, at least to prove to you that Ilori is not a village. Yeah. So, like I said, if you don't want to miss out on my subsequent videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Okay, please subscribe. Subscription is free. Because someone once asked me, once they click the subscribe button, but they deduct money from their ATM. I was like, no, not like you're even connecting ATM card to it. Just click on it. It's free. Then click the bell icon that should next to it and select all that will notify you whenever i drop any kind of content on this channel and of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to comment and i'll see you guys in my next one so till then stay safe and be blessed bye